like right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi, my name is Nashinsky, and I'm going to be reading part of the news. All right. A group of widows in Nyeri are marking the festive season in a unique way. They are moving into brand new houses, all because of the kind heart of a woman who has made her business to provide for them. Here is Carol Derry with more. She quietly goes about her duties at her humble home in Sangare area, past Muiga in Nyeri. And as the old adage goes, only the wearer of the shoe knows where it pinches. Wangoi knows only too well the tribulations that widows often encounter. She lost her dear husband in the year 2014. Life as she knew it changed then for her and her four children. A peasant farmer, she had to tend to her children single-handedly. The story is replicated amongst these women who meet monthly in Kieninye. <laughs> they are all widows, each with a sad story of her own to tell. <laughs> Coming together once a month provides a much-needed forum for them to share their stories and encourage each other. Life for a widow can get very lonely, not to mention the uphill task that is the financial responsibilities that fall squarely on her shoulder. The monthly meetings are the brainchild of one Jane Wanjiko, a Nyeri-born Kenyan who has lived in the United States of America for 25 years. Wanjiko comes to Kenya twice a year, and in December, she gifts the widows semi-permanent houses. Most of the women live in abject poverty and have to make do with dilapidated structures that pass for houses, some with leaking roofs. Wanjiko lost her own father at an early age, and she vividly remembers the struggles that her mother underwent to fend for her and 11 other siblings. My mom became a widow when uh, I was in high school, and we are 12 in our family, 12 children. And I saw even neighbors helping her and her struggling with the farm. And uh, that's why when I, I decided when I grow up and, or when I become, when I have something to give back, I'll come back and give to the community. Under Ms. Palm Ministries based in the U.S., Wanjiko raises funds that she uses to construct semi-permanent houses for the widows back home. This widow, her roof was ripped off by the weed and the rain, and uh, she doesn't have a place to stay. Actually, when it rains, she has to look for a neighbor. She has to look for shelter from a neighbor. And uh, this is something that I would never think it would be happening here in our society. But uh, poverty is, is, is real. It's real, Carlo. And I am praying that uh, uh, people will intervene and jump in and help. We are blessed to be a blessing. <laughs> Now she's all smiles, having received the keys to this three-roomed timber house, a far cry from her old house. Moving from this old rundown house to a new semi-permanent timber house. This, as you can see, is the perfect holiday gift for Mary and other widows from this locality. Even as we are reminded that the real spirit of the holiday season is to share the little or much that we have with those who have less than us. Life of a widow is difficult and it would be helpful if the society was more mindful of them. Now, also there are young ones, that some of them are even under 50. And we encourage them, if they meet somebody who can marry them, it's okay. It is not a, it's not a sin to marry, yeah. The Bible allows that uh, when your husband dies, yeah. If they get somebody who also will support their children and will marry them as they are, hey, it's, it's good to go. Yeah. What she would like very much is if others came on board too, as she would like to reach out to widows in other parts of the country, not just in her home turf in Neri. Carol Derry, Katie News, Ken.